Okay, so I applied Too Faced Shadow Insurance and it's still a little bit tacky. So I'm taking Pots and Pans NYX Dremel Pencil. It's like a silver one. I'm going to apply this on my lid and hurry and get it rubbed in so it absorbs into the Too Faced Shadow Insurance so it sticks better and it will not crease. Let's go ahead and just rub that in. I'm taking a matte gray and this is going to go all over the silver you just put down. With a small brush, I'm going to take this plum color. I'm going to make my straight line right here, and I'm going to do also my crease line so it goes into here. So start on the very edge and draw your line. looks like that and take it and feather it up above your crease and then you can blend the lines and pull them into that silver Take more of that plum color and place that in your crease and bring it all the way almost into your inner corner as you're going down. Define the line. Okay, take your brush and use the other side or use a clean brush and I'm taking this and I'm putting it into a really dark royal purple. It looks like this. And this is going to go on the outer of your eye and a little into the crease. You can see this. And just start blending it in. Okay, I've wiped the brush off and now I'm into like a brighter purple. This is going to go on just the outer corner of your eye as well and still pull the colors over and you're still following all those other color lines. That made no sense, but you get the gist of it. And just kind of blend it over. Okay, now once you have all those colors, take a blending brush, if I can find it. and blend these colors all together. Okay, so I have these colors blended. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to darken the top plum color. I'm going to make that a little bit darker. I'm also going to add a little bit more of the royal purple just to get it to be more defined. So take that plum color and just set it right on top and just define this as much as you want. Alright, that royal purple that's going right under that plum color. And go ahead and blend those colors again. taking this small pencil brush, it's a MAC 219, I have a little bit of black on it, matte black. I have tapped all of it off as much as I can. And now you're going to focus this on your crease. Be sure you wipe a lot of it off or it's going to get too dark. And focus on that diagonal line right here. 
Okay, once you have that color, stop. Don't use the brush anymore or it's going to be too dark. I'm going in with a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend this black into the purple. Be careful that you don't pull it over too much on this silver part because you still want to have enough silver. Okay, I'm taking my blending brush and I'm dipping it into that royal purple and I'm going to place that over that matte black and blend it in so you don't just see a lot of black. It looks like a deeper purple. I'm using a little bit of silver and I'm going to go back over the gray and pull it over just so it's brighter. Blend some more. Alright, I'm going to add some black liner and I will do my mascara and I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you what I did with my eyeliner underneath. I've applied my cream liner and now I have an eyeliner brush and it's clean. I've done the plum color and the royal purple color and I've mixed those two together on here. And I'm going to smudge these two colors on this black liner. And then with whatever's left on this pencil brush that's the black, I'm also going to pull it onto the black liner. Okay, now I'll add mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, to finish my look, I just have on Too Faced Totally Nude. It's lip a lipstick. It's a nude lipstick. It looks like this. I also have on top of that, this one is called Swift, and it's the Smashbox Mini Lip Gloss. This color is so gorgeous. This is my favorite. It's always in my bag. It's just so pretty. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.